The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Welcome, my dear viewer, on our today's episode on your favorite show, Chungu Chajami, with me, Kate Waliaro. As usual, we have these great conversations on, on this very program. And today we have um, hmm, someone you have been wishing that you could see. It's not just one, but a couple that has uh, gone over and beyond. You know, they have overcome themselves. Usually whenever life gives us difficulties, it is either it breaks you or it makes you. Now this couple has been able to come out better because uh, they have overcome. It's a story of hope. It's a story of love. It's a story of transformation. That's what I have for you today. So that even you, as you do life, you know there's always hope for tomorrow and God is always with you to help you. So with me, I have a couple that I was able to wed in prison. And they are here with me today. They are going to give you their story, how they were in prison, how they were able to change, how they were able to get the transformation and how they are living today. So a few weeks ago, we've seen them do a wedding, a big wedding in prison that has never been heard of. They chose to go back into prison so that even prisoners and inmates there can be able to have hope in their hearts because them, God has done it for them. They have been able to change. So with me, I'm welcoming my dear guests and they are going to introduce themselves to you. Mm. You're most welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Tolin. Tolin. Yes, Tolin Mangi. Uh -huh. uh, I am 24 years old okay. and I am an ex-prisoner. Uh -huh. Yes. You're most welcome. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is Martin Mzera. Mm -hmm. I am also an ex-prisoner. Mm -hmm. I am 28 years old. Yeah. Yes. You're most welcome to our show today. Thank I'm you. I'm sure our, our viewer is very eager to hear your story <laughs> because this is a story where uh, we always keep saying that whatever doesn't kill you, makes you. Yeah, sure. So story Nunienye, for sure, if it did not kill you, you you are you're both ex prisoners. Yes. And here you are shining as you are, you know, and you're giving hope to a lot of Kenyans because Nikusema uh, you've been through hell and back. Yeah, yeah. And here you are giving us a story of change, a story of love. I can't mm. even imagine. Okay, before we even go to all this, um Tolin, yes. why were you in prison? Um, first and foremost, I was arrested at a very young age. Uh -huh. I was arrested at 13 years. At 13 years? Yes, 13 years. Okay. And um, I was addicted to marijuana. At 13 years? Yes, yes. Hey, give us a story. This is juicy. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So um, there is this time I was in school. Uh -huh. And because of peer pressure, you know, when I was in school, I was at class six, but my company was class eight, class seven. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't dealing with my class and uh, class four or mm -hmm. just below. Okay. So I had friends from class eight, class seven, mm -hmm. so like this. And uh, there came a time that I started now selling bank, apart from using it, mm -hmm. I started selling it. Mm -hmm. and so now why were you selling it? No, they just gave me to sell it. Oh, so see, at will me cost a pesa. Uh -uh. Uh, out of now the peer pressure. Yeah, yeah, I started yeah. selling the Parents. bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh -huh. uh, niliuza for a while, uh -huh. then now, walimu wakagundua. Wazazi wako? No, they didn't know a, a thing. My parents didn't Na uliko unavuta bangi enyewe? Yeah, yeah. They didn't notice? No. Uh, uh -huh. So, they, can, they came this time, Mm -hmm. I now the teachers noticed mm -hmm. that kwa sababu hata kwa class nilikuwa na lalala like nilikuwa tunaka macho iko red all the time mm -hmm. so they called the police for me so they didn't tell my parents or anything so they just called the police awakutaka kunionyesha like wanajua niko na bangi mm -hmm. so when the police came wakasema they are doing a search for the whole class mm -hmm. and they started with me so okay. nika you know, uniform yet to look on a mifukoza up and belly, so nilikuwa ni make a bangi up. So, okay, because I'm um, understanding this is a story of a minor, yeah, to a little 13 years old, yes. And here you are, now the bangi, now now with a bangi, yes. So, who are your suppliers then? Uh, my 
like I said, wale watoto walikuwa class 7 na class 8, especially class 8. So hii ni biashara ya watoto? Ya, yeah, ilikuwa biashara ya watoto. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is this is just hitting me so hard because I can't even believe this. <laughs> it's serious. Mm. A thirteen year old and then now these grown ups, the teachers, but a layata ku inform wazazi that there are changes here that are happening in you mm. while it are policy yeah. on you. Yes. So already so so we find your criminal major. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh, and then what happened? Uh Unajua wale pia tulikuwa tunasoma na wale walikuwa wananipatia hii bangi niuze si ati nilikuwa nauza peke yangu mm -hmm. so pia wao hawakuwa walikuwa naitoa kutoka kwa watu wengine okay. so ilikuwa na, ni chain ya kutumiwa uh -huh. e, ilikuwa ni chain ya watoto yeah. kabisa ilikuwa ni chain tu ya kutumiwa uh -huh. so through this nikajipata prison Okay. Yes. Peleko, ni, wali nishika kwa nipeleka police station. Uh -huh. So on that very day ni kapeleka kotini. Uh -huh. Na wazazi wangu wakaitwa uh -huh. and I was sentenced three years in prison. Three years? Yes, in juvenile prison, kirigiti prison. So kuna uh, jela ya watoto? Yes. Na sasa hapa kuta, utapata watoto wa wana range from how many years? Wana range from 12 hmm. to 16 or 18. 17 years. Yes, huh? yes. Uh -huh. Sasa um, I'm looking at now wazazi wako in shock. Yes, yes. Especially my mother, mm -hmm. alikuwa in shock. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, like, me in school, I was very bright. Mm -hmm. Na kila mtu alikuwa na hopes kwa angu. Uh -huh. yeah, kila mtu alikuwa na hopes kwa angu. Mm -hmm. So, uh, kupitia hivi, wazizi wangu alikuwa heartbroken sana. Okay. Kwa sababu, even in our family, kila mtu, me, I am a firstborn. Mm -hmm. So, kila mtu machu yake alikuwa kwa angu. Yeah, I can yes. imagine. Yes. And here you are, all hopes, if or two. Down. Uh -huh. Actually, at that time, uh -huh. my parents didn't have, I was the only child. I was okay. the only child. I guess my parents didn't have, like, didn't want to have other child, uh -huh. but ilibidi, wakakona watoto wengine tu. Fata. Yes. Because now the only hope here is yeah, gone. Yeah, it's least. gone, yes. Now, were they very disappointed? Amo wali ku protect Aji? Oh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to them, kwa sababu, they were so protective to me, like, unajua ukiambiwa mtuto wako, hamefanya hiki na hiki, like, mtuto wako, mm -hmm. until the evidence ilivo provide you, ando mm -hmm. waliamini, ah, mtuto wetu, alikuwa natumia bangi. Mm -hmm. But before that, they were so protective, mtuto wetu wazifanya hivo, mm -hmm. we know our child, the like, least, like, like, akine wawo kwa wana nijua vizuri. Oh my God, this yes. is a nice story, because now, I'm sure a lot of parents can now <laughs> start thinking and being very keen with their children. Yes. Do you na imagine, mama kwa ulikuwa na ye daily, mm -hmm. She was serving you and you were doing all these things together, but she didn't see yes, this yes. coming. Yeah. Oh, now, <laughs> we are marching because it's so, so, so sweet. <laughs> and this is what the society needs to hear. Yeah, sure. So, Martin, yes. hmm. how, mm. how did you get into prison? Okay, Pia Mimi, story yangu, eko tofauti sana na Tolin. Uh -huh. Actually, Pia Mimi nilikuwa tu kijana wa kawaida. Uh -huh. Niko na wazazi, mama na baba. Uh -huh. Na ningesema pia wazazi wangu wako tu uh, well off tu. Uh, atukua na siku grow up na shida yoyote. Uh -huh. Na nili, at a certain point in life, nili, ka, nili, kutan, nili, nili exchange wa shule. Mm -hmm. So kwa hiyo shule mpya nilienda mm -hmm. nilianza ku uh, new friends. Mm -hmm. So how new friends ndio waka eh, same tu na Tolin. Mm -hmm. So ni shule ya primary, eh, secondary ama in primary bado. Okay. Yes, still uh -huh. in primary. So how new friends waka ni introduce kwa kwa bangi. Uh -huh. So all from your time nilianza kutumia kuvuta bangi hapo ndo most of my life ilianza ku change. Mm -hmm. So pia wazazi wangu wakujua. Mm -hmm. So nilienda, nilienda tu nika, nika, nika fanya mchani wa KCP. Mm -hmm. Nika enda paka form 1. Lakini kufika form 2, ni hiyo shule ni, nika, nika fukuzo hiyo shule. Na ilikuwa ni shule nzuri sana. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, yeah, ilikuwa ni high school nzuri ya nye najulikana. So nilivarudi mtani, mm -hmm. uh, watu wakakuwa na ile stigma. Ukijana lipaform vizuri uh, kwa KCP. KCP. Mbona ana amekuwa hivi imekuwa hivi sasa hivi. Mm -hmm. So wazazi wangu wakaanza waka kuwa na hiyo pressure. Kila mtu akikutana nao njiani, mbona mtoto wako anaishi hivi? So hiyo pressure pia wananiletea kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. So hiyo pressure nikaanza kupata from everyone else. So nikaanza ku sink even more deeper mm -hmm. into into drugs. If I'm getting you right, mm. hii pressure ni uh, unaonekana na society kama unapotoka. Yeah. 
na pia wazazi wako wanaambiwa kijana wenu wanaenda inasate inue eh. they don't want to understand nini inafanya ubadilike ama mm. wanakuforce tu na fuck wa hivi na si hivi exactly wananiambia usipoishi hivi maisha yako yataharibika mbona unaishi hivi so hawa hawakujua ni nini napitia mm, hawakuenda mm. deep into eh hawakuenda deep kujua shida nini lakini mm-hmm. huo wakati nilielewa kwa sababu nilikuwa nikisikiza vyenye watu wanaambia wazazi wangu mm-hmm. uh, kijana wenu alipita vizuri mm-hmm. na siku hizi mbona amevinyuma no. kwa sababu nilikwambia nimeenda nilienda shule nzuri sana yeah. so nilipotoka hiyo shule nikaja shule tu ya hapo mtaani ikakuwa ni kitu ambacho jamii nzima inaona au kijana tunamjua alipita vizuri mm-hmm. amekuja kwa shule ya ya ya, ya, ya hapa nyumbani nini ilifanyika so hiyo pressure za zangu akipata mm-hmm. pia wao inawalemea so wanajaribu sana kuni kuni change oh, lakini the more wanakuja nyumbani the more wanaletea pressure mm-hmm. the more pia mimi ninakuwa ni depressed na the more nina sink ndani zaidi kwa kwa, kwa mm-hmm. drugs hii bangi sasa mm. so nili maisha yangu ya high school mm-hmm. you took from one school to another mm-hmm. so badala ya 4 years mm-hmm. nili take 6 years kumaliza oh, ukirukaruka mashule eh, ngirukaruka mashule mm-hmm. so kuna muda pia nilienda rehab mm-hmm. for 6 months mm-hmm ili ya kwamba niweze kutoka out of drugs lakini hata baada ya kutoka so by now wazazi wako wamejua you into drugs yeah uh-huh. at around form 2 nilipotoka hiyo shule nilipokuwa naenda kwa shule nyingine walijua uh-huh. so kabla ni nilipelekwa shule nyingine kwanza nilipelekwa rehab for 6 uh-huh. months uh-huh. so wakiwa na matumaini kwamba nikitoka rehab kila kitu itakuwa sawa nitakuwa okay. nimeweka madawa na nitasoma kwa sababu pia nilikuwa ni mtu nilivyo nilikuwa nilikuwa nimepass so wanajua ni kijana bright yeah, yeah. So walikuwa wanajaribu sana mm-hmm. uh, kuni change. Mm-hmm. So baada kutoka rehab lakini hakuna much ili change in fact nilikuwa worse nili sink more deeper into kuvuta bangi. Ilikuwa ni bangi yani mostly ilikuwa easy yeah. easily available I think. Yeah. Eh? So uh-huh. uh, after kumaliza form 4 so kuna ile ile naweza sema ni kama depression ili ili nimepata mm-hmm. because most of my friends walikuwa wako university mm-hmm. most of my friends wame pass vizuri na umebaki nyuma na mimi nimebaki nyuma uh-huh. so nikakuwa na ile depression nilikuwa nisha lose hope na na, na maisha uh-huh. so nika sink more deeper into even drugs uh-huh. so nikaanza kutoroka nyumbani kwenda uh-huh. kukaa na marafiki zangu kwa nyuma nyumba zao uh-huh. so uh, most of my friends pia some of them had money so they were able ilikuwa ni rahisi wao ku afford zo drugs. Uh-huh. Yeah. So kuendelea kuishi hivyo kwa sababu au marafiki zangu wako na pesa. So nikaona hatuko class moja. Uh-huh. So nikapata na marafiki wengine ambao tulikuwa tunajuana. Wakaniambia uh-huh. tuanze kwenda hizi clubs. Tukaanza uh-huh. kwenda clubs once, twice, thrice. So tukazoeana na ikakuwa ni kama I feel a sense of belonging to them. Uh-huh. So huo wakati hata siendi nyumbani nishatoroka nyumbani for like three months hivi. Uh-huh. So during that time one of them akatoa idea ya kwenda kuiba mahali na akatwambia itakuwa tu kitu rahisi tu kwenda ku, kuingia kuchukua hiyo pesa na, na kutoka ni kwa duka ya mtu mwenye alikuwa anafanyia kazi hiyo mm-hmm. kijana so kabla tuende hapo mahali kuiba mm-hmm. tukaenda kuna mahali Mombasa kuna mama mangina mm-hmm. tukaenda hapo tukalewa lewa kidogo masaa kama ya usiku ilipofika hivi mm-hmm. tuka ndio tukaamua sasa tuende so tulivyoenda tulivyoenda tukavunja tuka tuka watu watoka kulikuwa na mapolisi ma wanapiga patrol okay Nona. So naweza sema pia ilikuwa ni mpango wa Mungu mm-hmm. hapo ndo nili nilishikwa. Okay. Yeah, so nilishikwa tukapeleka Central Police mm-hmm. Mombasa. Nikakaa Rumande around 3 days. So nilivoeleza wazazi wangu mm-hmm. uh, at first uh, wali uh, mara kwanza nilivoeleza wali sema wacha ukae huko ndani ulan unaona u change kwa sababu mm-hmm. walikuwa washachoka na mimi. Na si kuambia specifically nimeshikwa na nini. Uh-huh. Eh. So wao wali wao wali dania labda atakaa kama wiki moja wiki mbili atoke. Mm-hmm. So by the time wana learn specifically ni kosa gani ilikuwa nimenishika nilikuwa nishaenda kotini mm-hmm. na njaja kanipatia warning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So ndo nikaingia Kimwarani Prison in Mombasa. Okay. Yeah. So that's how nilijipata prison. So sikuwa nimewahi dania siku moja naweza kuwa mali kama prison. I can imagine that yeah. because you had this life yenye ulikuwa unaona it's right ahead of you. Yeah, kabisa. And then here you are kila kitu imekuwa giza. Yeah. All oh, I, can, I can feel that. <laughs> Tolin, you are 13 years old. Yes. And I'm imagining you are so fragile mm. as a young girl and here you are umetumwa jela. How was your heart? 
at that time ulivyo nafikiria nini ukiwa msichana mdogo vile <laughs> mara ya kwanza nilienda mm -hmm. i thought it's just a normal school kwa sababu judge wao ulikuwa unaenda shule yeah wanani they told me they are taking me to another school they didn't tell me they are taking me to a juvenile prison uh -huh. the judge herself mm -hmm. told me i'm taking you to another school mm -hmm so that you can go and continue learning. Uh -huh. So inside my heart, mm. nilikuwa nishachoka na hiyo shule ya home, uh -huh. nilikuwa nishachoka na home. So I went with a lot of hopes. Uh -huh. Ah, sasa inaenda shule nyingine. Ni kama ukiwa shule upigo transfer, uh -huh. upeleke shule nyingine, so nilikuwa na hope ah, sasa uh -huh. nipigo transfer naenda shule nyingine. Uh -huh. But to my surprise, yes ndio tunava uniform. Uh -huh. Mata kama haika ile ya jila ya watu wazima. Uh -huh. But tunava uniform. Na life ilikuwa hard. Mm -hmm. It was opposite to my expectation. Ebu, sasa kuna hiyo umeshikwa na bangi mm -hmm. na umeenda jela. Mm -hmm. Nataka ku understand mm -hmm. wewe ulielewa kosa lako ama uliona ah, una transferiwa tu shule? I mean, I was so young uh -huh. kuelewa kitu kama hiyo niliona. So kuona makosa uh, ama ukuelewa hata hii bangi uh, na nini ya huku jua ni wrong. Ah uh, mi bangi nilijua ni wrong uh -huh. kuwa na bangi nilijua ni wrong uh -huh. but the fact that judge aliniambia na kupeleka shule nyingine you know niko oh, mdogo na oh. sikuwa nishaienda kwa jela oh, kwa maisha yangu hawako kuprepare yeah for the, the fact that judge aliniambia mimi nakupeleka shule nyingine i was happy oh, very happy uh -huh. hata kubebwa na land cruiser kupelekwa Kiambu road Kirigiti i was very happy inside that car <laughs> <laughs> sikujua nini nilikuwa na expect <laughs> oh, at the end uh -huh. so yes. how was it now Anilienda mhm mm na jo kingi ya juvenile prison mm -hmm. aina like bunduki uh -huh. ah, aina warden soko na bunduki mm -hmm. like kama hiyo jela nilikuwa kirigiti mm -hmm. aina warden soko na bunduki mm -hmm. just walimu mm -hmm. wanavaa normal mm -hmm. but the gate you never go out of the gate inje ya gate ndo kuna askari hapo kwa gate ndo kuna askari sasa but ni a very well fenced school hakuna pale unaweza pitia so to you it was school yes for me it was a school oh. the dormitories are ni vitanda tu za kawaida mm -hmm. like double decker mm -hmm. naelewa yeah. so Even. for me mm -hmm. until sasa nianze kwenda shule until now we start working now i, I realized now so I ni shule ya kufanya kazi yeah. not Mugu necessarily mnasoma? yes tulikuwa tunasoma Ah. Yes, tulikotunasa. Na pia sasa kuna kazi. Yes, kuna kazi. Oh. Now, my dear viewer, I hope you are following on this story. It's very shocking for me. I'm, I'm very shocked that a 13 year old gets to go through such a life. Uh, people around her do not get to see and understand. And the fact that even teachers called the police for a criminal instead of maybe even cautioning you and everything you can listen to these stories for yourself and you can actually open your eyes even for the children around you i want you to listen to this story so please don't touch that dial we are going to be back here uh listening to more what they have to say about their story and how they even came to a transformation so please take a glass of water we'll be right back <music> everywhere gbs Welcome back my dear viewer. We are continuing with this conversation. We have a story of two ex-prisoners that are now married. I hope you didn't miss that. And you can listen to this uh, this their story that did not just start in their adulthood. Their problems started when they they were way young. And I hope you can also listen along until the end so that you can listen to how they were able to transform. So my dear guests Tolin, you know I'm feeling you from sorry I'm feeling you from my heart and I wanted you to paint for us Jelaya Watoto mm -hmm. the juvenile prison mm -hmm. how exactly it was for you uh, for me it was rough mm -hmm. because I was young mm -hmm. kuna watu wakubwa pale mm -hmm. oh, watoto wakubwa eh hey, kuna wakubwa mm -hmm. so when you go to prison ukishafika kila mtu anakonga na department yake mm -hmm. so wale hufika wa mwisho wale hawajapewa mm -hmm. department wanaitwa others mm -hmm. yeah they so call them others wewe ulikuwa wapi mimi nilikuwa others <laughs> at that time mm -hmm. so um ikafika time uh -huh. sasa 
nilikuwa ni assign wetu bi sasa niingie shule si nimeletwa sasa prison uh -huh. lazima ni attend classes nipewe pale pa kulala like this uh -huh. so hizo vitu zote zikafanyika uh -huh. and now sasa nikaingia prison sasa fully uh -huh. uh, inside my heart uh -huh. unajua mimi bado nilikuwa na dream ya kusoma uh -huh. so i was in fact that time nilienda uh -huh. i was hiyo tukafanya mtihani kwanza i was number one. And everybody was surprised how. Unajua huko, we share buckets. Mm -hmm. So, bucket kama mafuta ikitolewa, mm -hmm. so mnangangana nani atachukua, ni kina nani watachukua. So, muwa mnagrupiwa in a group of three people. Mm -hmm. So, that time, I was given a bucket. Mm -hmm. So, inside my heart, I was very happy. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, now I don't have to share bucket na mtu. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia watoto wengi, wako huko, wakona upele. Yeah, oh, skin like, disease. Yeah, wako na skin disease mingi. Mm -hmm. So that way watu wengi hawataki kushare. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't easy for me kwa sababu nilikuwa nafikiria. Sasa pia kuna ile unakuwa homesick. Mhm. Mm uh, ume miss nyumbani, ume Kulikuwa na visitations. Wako. Yes, kulikuwa na visitation, mm -hmm. lakini of kwangu the most hard part mm -hmm. ni kwangu vitu zilifanywa haraka mm -hmm. so wazazi wangu waliambiwa we are taking your child to kirigiti juvenile prison but they don't know where kirigiti is mm -hmm. so all those three years hawakuja kunitembelea because they didn't know where i was yes so nilika three years bila kuona wazazi wangu kwa sababu they did not know where i was mm -hmm. yes okay so uh, martin wewe moyo wako hapa ume umefanya crime na sasa i think you are bigger than her so you could yeah. understand yeah. what exactly it is umefanya mm. and umekwa prison yeah. how was it well kwanza nikianzia hapo wakati mimi nasimama kotini mm -hmm. my life ikaanza ku nikawa na playback kwa akili yangu mm -hmm. nikaanza kufikiria maisha yangu na nikaanza kushangaa imefikaje hapa mm -hmm. because I was scared wakati ndani ya moyo was scared mm -hmm. kwa sababu uh, si kwa ni kwa nishasikia story za prison mm -hmm. you know na sina way out of this unaona mm -hmm. marafiki zangu pia wenye nilikuwa nao somehow wao walikuwa wameishia life kidogo mm -hmm. but means kama venye nilisema nililelewa a bit more comfortable life yeah. so venye nimejipata hapa nilikuwa sielewi mm -hmm. so nilivyoweka kwa after hiyo kesi ya kotini ikaweka kwa gari ndivunja kwa prison uh, so ile life ya prison imeanza hivi mm -hmm. ni maisha yenye si kuifikiria so nilikuwa nime lose hope kabisa mm -hmm. so kuna ile ilipofika prison kuna ile inaitwa kukaba unaona una una, una squat na hesabiwa na mhesabiwi tuko upole mm -hmm. na chapo mafimbo unaona ah. So oh, you you went to adults eh, prison. Mimi ndio tuko prison ya kawaida. Hapo hakuna kuhurumiwa. Hakuna kuhurumiwa, no. oh So mmefika uh -huh. tuko gate. Mm -hmm. Kwanza mmekuwa handcuffed watu wawili, mtu mm -hmm. mmekuwa handcuffed naye umjui. Mm -hmm. Anakaa tu gangster. So unajiuliza <laughs> nilifikaje hapo? <laughs> no. So uh -huh. kufika pale tukashuka kwa gari, uh, tukaanza tukakaba. No. Mm -hmm. So tukahesabiwa, tukatupa tuka, kwa tukatupa kwa cell. So tupa kwa ni kama ka hall hivi kashimo tu hivi si ka, si kanyumba ka ni kama room uh -huh. kama room hivi uh -huh. and then mko kama watumia hapo ndani okay unaona and then mnalala kwa mnalala kwa blanket so blanket zinatandikwa chini uh -huh. then side moja mnalala kama watu 8 hivi unaona so okay. ilikuwa ni life yenye sijaio sijai imagine kitu na exist kitu kama inaweza exist kwa dunia unaona uh -huh. and then watu uko nao hapo tunaona tu ni basi yani maisha yangu imeisha unaona uh -huh so kuna kulikuwa na chawa chawa zilikuwa nyingi sana then mmelala watu mmelala very close kama magunia hivi mm. so mkigeuka inabidi mmejeuka nyote uh, mtu mmoja kigeuka <laughs> so mmoja uh kigeuka -huh. hivi magibidi mmegeuka nyote okay. so kigeuka mwingine anakwambia so you have to kuagree yeah. sasa tunatanda wewe kigeuka anambia mwanzo kigeuka so hivyo ina, ina pass so message inapata vichwa na mwili fit eh fit ndio itafit vizuri then chawa zilikuwa zilikuwa tu nyingi excess paka ukiamka ukiangalia hivyo na ziona tu hivyo mm. na ziona venye zinaruka ruka tu no. ni kama snow yani unajua venye zinakwanga nyeupe so ziko tu nyingi hapo paka mm. unazizoea and then kitu kani amaze ni the food mm -hmm. the food mm -hmm. was so amazing nilikuwa naangalia hivi na shangaa because unaona kama zile cabbage zinakwanga zimetupwa mm -hmm. kwa market mm -hmm so azi azi azipikwi zinarushwa zina, zina kwa maji then zinatokota tu 
And then saa ule mtu wana akikuchotea yoka beja na za chota kaimisi taka kwekia majitubu. Sayo nakula na nini? Na, na sima. Imeiva vizuri? Wapi? Imegongo watu? Sima inakio kwa, kwa, kwa sani ya chuma. Na iko moto wa jabu. Na uwezi ya chilia. Ona. So I'm imagining your life umetoka somewhere a little comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable actually. No, no. So mali nimejipata. Mm. So nilikuwa na a lot of regrets kwa maisha yangu. Mm. No. So kuna time ya kuoga pia. Mm. No. So sabuni, hauna sabuni. Mm. Maji ni kidogo, mimepewa time. No. So mko tu kwa hiyo hall, matoka nje kidogo. Mm. Kuna time ya kunywa uji. Amna kunywa uji kama mesquat. Sio kukaba. Na uji ni moto. Mm. Unafaa ukunyo, ufai kubakisha. Ju uh, njari kwako. Kibakishwa, fimbo. Ah. Anona. So, hiyo life ilikuwa, ilikuwa kwangu mimi, si, kwa, si, si life niliwa imagine. So, mm-hmm. nikaanza kwa na lot of regrets. Mm-hmm. Kwa, 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 kwa mwe wangu. Mm-hmm. And then also nilika for a while sana, mm-hmm. before my parents went tembele. Anona. They knew where I was, but I guess walikuwa na ile moyo. Wanataka ni transform. Maybe wali wana this is an opportunity. Mm-hmm. And how was their heart now? The, 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 the time now wame kutembelea. Moyo wawo likuwaje. Now that they wanted a change for you. Yeah. And now here a radical thing have shown up. So mamangu walikuwa very disappointed. Mm-hmm. So liendo walikuja wa kwanza. Walikuwa very disappointed. Mm-hmm. But aliku, nikuwa na wana mekaza moyo wake sana. She was very, alikuwa na jarebu sana kwa strong. Mm-hmm. So wali niulizo na itaji nini. So nika mwambia maybe soap na hizo hizo necessities za pale ndani mm-hmm. but niliona ndani ya moyo wake she was very broken mm-hmm. kuniona kwa hiyo image but kinje mm-hmm. alikuwa na try as much as possible la kuwe mm-hmm. na kuwe strong, strong. Yeah. so <laughs> ah wewe alikuwa kasichana kadogo <laughs> so for you now that you are a grown up then at least mm-hmm. ulikuwa adult na unaelewa yeah. exactly what things are going on yeah. um change ilikujaje so tukiwa hapo ndani i couldn't there was not there was no much time ya kufanya anything ni, ni routine tu mm-hmm. eh, so una unaamka mnafanya hivi unafanya hivi so it was on daily basis paka unakuja unazoea mm-hmm. but uh, one time kulikuja a speaker mm-hmm. unaona kuna there, there are some people who are given time to talk to the inmates mm-hmm. so kuna speaker mmoja alikuja mm-hmm. and then he, he akaanza ku share story yake when mm-hmm. he received transformation mm-hmm. na akasema ametoka organization ito IYF mm-hmm. So this time akakuja aka akakuwa anakuja at least once a month. Mm-hmm. So alikuwa tunamsikiza. At mm-hmm. first nilikuwa namsikiza vaguely. Mm-hmm. But with the time nikaanza kumsikiza more seriously. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. akona story kama yako. Yeah, you were saying you were very broken at this time yeah. aoni mbele. Kabisa. Uh-huh. Ilikuwa mahali yani sikuwa naona hope. Hata nilikuwa naona nikitoka nje nitaenda nilikuwa nimeamua nikitoka nje mm-hmm. sitaenda home. Mm-hmm. Nitaenda tu hata kama niko street ama ni Nairobi ni pote tu. So nilikuwa bado na ile moyo mzito towards watu wa home. Mm-hmm. Na ona, in my heart na ona wajafanya ya kutosha. Ulikuwa na ona wame kulet down. Eh, nikuwa na ona wame let down. Mm-hmm. Because nikuwa na nikieka niki hizo chain of events. Mm-hmm. Na ona wawondo wali from nikiangalia na ona wawondo wali anza kunipatia pressure. Mpaka nikaishi maisha. Nye niko sahi. So nilikuwa mm-hmm. na wablemu wao. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, kupitia huu speaker mwenye likuwa kikuja. Mm-hmm. From the organization ito IYF. Mm-hmm. Aliza kufunza topic wa ito mind education. Uh-huh. Yeah, so through this nikaza kulan the real reason why maisha yangu ya lita not venya lita na out. Uh-huh. So I was very amazed at yu mafunzo walikuwa wanafunza yu time. Okay. Na ni kavuto sana na yu mafunzo. Uh-huh. So naeza sema at that point ndo transformation yangu ilianza. Uh-huh. Yeah. Dori ni yako ilikuja aje? Uh-huh. Ama kulienda aje? You said ulikuwa umeyekwa pale three years. Yes. Uliweza kusavi your three years. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, ni pia netu story yangu tena kwa kifupi. Uh-huh. Amimi ni meishijela kwa seven years. Now you were convicted for three years. Yes, I was convicted for three years. Ukajiongeza <laughs> nini? Mama kuliandaje? Ah, the three years came uh-huh. wakati nilienda jela, uh-huh. nilirudia class six. Okay, uliamba umeenda shule? Yes, so mm-hmm. nikarudia class six. Mm-hmm. Well, tulikuwa tunafunzwa vitu vizuri like just a normal school. Okay. Nikarudia class six, seven, mm-hmm. eight. Nikafika class eight. Mm-hmm. Policy ya prison, juvenile prison, ufai kufanya mtiani prison. Mm-hmm kwa sababu ya reputation yako ama CV ukipeleka CV kwenda kutafuta kazi. Mm. Unajua si kila mtu anataka kuhaya mtu akona pri, ametoka prison. Yeah, yeah. So nikapelekwa nyumbani niende nifanye mtihani. Mm-hmm. Na unajua 
mtu akitoka prison kuna ile discrimination mm -hmm. kuna ile kudharauliwa mm -hmm. kuna ile kutengwa na jamii mm -hmm. so mi, wakati wa nilipelekwa nikafanye mtihani kwa nyanya yangu kwa mm -hmm. i mean a relative of mine mm -hmm. so nilipopelekwa mwalimu akaniambia we mfungo njo hapa kila mtu alikuwa ananiita mfungo i don't know how they knew nimetoka prison ama maybe kwa sababu nilienda na askari kufanya mtihani mm -hmm. but uh, mimi ni mtu mwenye nina hasira nyingi so nikaenda nyumbani nikachukua kisu <laughs> nikaenda nyumbani nikachukua kisu hey. si kuongea si kuongea na mtu actually vile aliniambia kuja mfungwa ndani ya moyo wangu nilifeel vibaya i really felt bad so ni, si kuongea nikatoka na si eti nilikuwa nimetoka kwa darasa watu wakiniongelesha vibaya mara ya kwanza so kila mtu alidhani hmm. ni ile normal yangu tu kutoka nje ninaenda ku cool down nitaru nitarudi hata mwalimu mwenyewe alikuwa shazoea mm -hmm. so mimi nikaenda nikachukua kisu nyumbani nikasema now i must put an end to this so nikaenda nikarudi so nikakuja sikuwa nataka kumdunga huyo mwalimu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mimi kwa intention yangu nilikuwa nataka mtu asiwahi niita mfungwa. Yaani nilikuwa nataka kuwafundisha tu lesson, yani wajue <laughs> naweza beba kisu. <laughs> yani I can do something. Uh -huh. So katika ile kungangana na jifanya nataka kumdunga, so nikamkata hapa kwa mkono wake. Naona jua ni kwa vein. So eh. damu ilikuwa ina inaruka and she was almost fainting. So nikabebo tena nikapelekwa police station tena. So unajua nilikuwa niachiliwe sasa after kufanya KCP nilikuwa uh -huh. nirudishwe kotini mara ya mwisho uh -huh. niachiliwe. So nilipomkata akafaint uh -huh. nikarudishwa tena kotini uh -huh. wakanihesabia makosa attempted murder. Nikapelekwa sasa prison nyingine which is worse than Kirigiti in Itodagoreti Juvenile Prison. I was sentenced another three years in prison. Uh -huh. So now those are six. Yes, those are six years. Uh -huh. Now kutoka form 1 mpaka form 4 lazima ningemalizia prison. Oh. So nikamaliza form 4 nikiwa na 18 years. Mm -hmm. So mtu akifikishwa 18 years kama hujamaliza miaka yako mm -hmm. you are supposed to be taken to Langata Women Prison. Mm -hmm. So mimi nikapelekwa mm -hmm. kwa koti ili wa appeal nipelekwe Langata Prison. Mm -hmm. But hiyo siku jaja kaniachilia. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I hope everyone is digesting all this. And as we do as as we do I want us to think about our children, by the way, because these, their story is not starting in their adulthood. It's starting from um, childhood. You listen to Martin, his story is from maybe he was mishandled from whatever stresses he was going through and he, maybe people did not have the capacity to understand him. And here we are. So this story is very... <laughs> I hope you are coming back for more. So please take a glass of water as I also listen to this and sink it in. Please, we'll be back in a moment. Everywhere, GBS. Welcome back, my dear viewer. We are continuing with this story of this amazing couple that has been through jail and they have overcome. And here they are different and transformed people. And as we go on the, we, through the conversation, make sure you join us on our SMS line 21144 and on in, in all our social media handles at GBS TV Africa. So before we went on break, we were listening to Tolin and she's telling us how now she was able to go now for the fourth year in Langata Women Prison. Yeah? Yes. So Tolin, tumesikia story yako ni chungu wadi kwangu, lakini uliwezaje kuchange? Uh, wakati nikiwa prison uh -huh. uh, also kulikuwa na watu walikuja uh -huh. and uh, our watu huwa wana deal na youth they told us on a deal na youth uh -huh. so i listened to them uh -huh. and uh, because they said one point which really touched me uh -huh. many people after coming out of prison uh -huh. go back to prison sure then i really thought inside of me do I really want to go to prison again? It had happened. Since yes, it had that happened. Mm -hmm. And for sure, mm -hmm. I could have gone to prison again. Because mm -hmm. I know myself. Mm -hmm. I know what I can really like. What kind of a person I am. Alafu, ni kukatiza kidogo. You umetuambe umeishi jela ile time ya kwanza for three years. And then ukaenda kufanya KCP ukakata mwalimu. Yes. Nafikiria, umetuambia jela iko na hardship zingine crazy. Yes, yes. 
do you think ilichangia kukua sasa na hizi hasira unasema uh, actually yeah. i'm sorry to say yeah. but taking hata ningetaka kuambia wazazi wote hmm. like taking your child to a juvenile prison hmm. it's making him or her akuwa kichongumu zaidi ya vile alikuwa uh-huh. yes. zile hardship sana yes ni kumfanya akuwa kichongumu zaidi ya vile alikuwa like mimi nilienda and wakati nilitoka nilikuwa kichongumu zaidi ya vile nilikuwa uh-huh. yes vitu zingine hata sikuwa na juu nilienda kama sijui nilienda nikajulia huko okay. yes and now nilikuja nje nikiwa fully armed Where you yes. <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway um, i'm happy to hear this and uh, i'm happy juu ya hii story because sasa wazazi wakisikiza mm-hmm. wanaweza ongoza watoto wao kwa njia zinazofaa mm-hmm. because i think nyinyi hapa kila mtu ni victim ya circumstance yes. si ndio uh, unatuambia jinsi wewe wewe ulisikia yes yes na ukapata hii story wanasema ni wewe tu ukiachiliwa utarudi Yes, huo wakati wakisema hivi mm-hmm. nilikuwa form 4. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa form 4, nilikuwa nimebakisha kama miezi tatu nimefanya KCSE. Mm-hmm. So ndani ya moyo wangu nilikuwa sitaki kurudi tena jela. So I was released mm-hmm. and I went home. Mm-hmm. So after I went home kulikuwa bado na stigmatization huyo mm-hmm. mtoka prison and all that. Mm-hmm. So I decided nikiendelea kukaa hapa kwa sababu mwalimu mara ya kwanza alikuwa shanita mpungwa na nikamkata mm-hmm. then something bigger might happen sure. so i decided let me just run out of home mm-hmm. and just go so i went to kitengela mm-hmm. but when i was in kitengela mm-hmm. uh, i went to kitengela a friend of mine told me come nikusaidie kutafuta kazi mm-hmm. so i went and when i was in kitengela i remembered ah they told me about iyf mm-hmm. so quickly nikaenda kwa cyber nika google kusu iyf mm-hmm. and all that So nikaona locations zao. So nikaona pia kitengela wako. Mm-hmm. So nika, nika, nika tafuta tu locations zao mm-hmm. and then I went there. Uh-huh. So all through this sai nimekuwa nikiishi nikifanya kazi under IYF. Mm-hmm. Nili receive training yangu ya kuchange through IYF. Wow, yes. that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Na pia yeye ameongelea kuhusu this IYF. Mm-hmm. Yeah. IYF ni International Youth Fellowship. Wow, yes. you must have received fellowship nzuri sana. sana. <laughs> Hii nikiangalia mmefanyiwa total transformation. Yes. Na sio hivyo tu. Kuna kitu juzi mlifanya. Mm. You had a wedding in prison. Yes. Why prison? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Why prison? Ah, <laughs> uh, first of all, mm. sisi tulijua na through IYF. Uh-huh. Kila mtu alitoka prison uh-huh. and then kulikuwa na IYF World Camp. Mhm. Uh-huh. So we met through through this camp mm-hmm. and uh tukaanza tukujua na pole pole okay. for about five years right yeah, yeah. five years mm-hmm. five years now we've known each other oh. mm. so kupitia IYF mkajuana yes and now what are you doing uh, uh me na volunteer with the IYF mm-hmm. i teach mind education wow in uh, colleges and in prisons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So ile life yenye ulikuwa unatamani ukiwa kijana mdogo sasa unaishi hiyo maisha. Kabisa. Wow, amen. amen. Hallelujah to God. Na wewe? Uh, mimi uh-huh. I am a lecturer. Wow. Yes, I am a lecturer. Uh-huh. I work with uh, an organization also called PCF uh-huh. which is also in, inside IYF. PCF. Mm-hmm. PCF stands for Police Correctional Fellowship. Who are you people? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Our, wow. That's so good. Yes. So, we uh-huh. go to prisons, uh-huh. teach mindset, uh-huh. and also do theological courses uh-huh. to prisons. Uh-huh. Yes. And I'm imagining sasa nyinyi wenye mmepitia through ile system, yes. you are the best people and the best persons wenye mnaweza pia ongoza makarao yes, wenye yes. wako pale ndani, yes, yes. mkipitia hii njia haita work you've been there umetuambia kwamba wakati ulipitia pale you became very hardened yes so lazima wa change kitu so that watu wa, hey, hii, hii information ya IYF basi inafaa irudi kule yeah. ndo we can have more transformations yes, yes. and yeah. that's what you're doing yes. wow congratulations thank you sasa mm. uliamua kufanyia wedding yenu prison kwa nini martin hebu ah. niambie <laughs> Okay mm-hmm. uh, after kuwa in IYF mm. na my wife kuwa in PCF for uh-huh. a while uh-huh. she I'm explain she's been going to prisons akifunza mindset uh-huh. na me I was uh, dealing with mostly with the youth uh-huh. so uh, there was a, a graduation uh-huh. yenye walikuwa wanaandaa uh-huh. 
uh -huh. inside the prison. Okay. So at this time when we were thinking about this graduation, also my wife can kuja mm -hmm. I think I want to give hope to the inmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's equal to graduation pekiake, but uh, to fanya a wedding here up in prison. Wow. So at first it sounded uh, impossible, mm -hmm. you know, kufanya wedding prison. Sure. But it has never even been yeah, heard of. It was the first. You uh, are the pioneers. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. So uh, although it sounded impossible. For me personally, I was excited you wow. know, uh -huh. because I was feeling this is uh, a new challenge for me. Let's see what is going to happen. Wow. You know, let's just do it. Uh -huh. And uh, we also approached the, the chairman of uh, PCF uh -huh. and IYF. Uh -huh. And then he was also very uh, excited about this idea. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Akatwambia, that's a good idea. Wow. Yeah, so we decided we're going to do graduation plus uh -huh. wedding ceremony in prison on the same day. Uh -huh. Wow, yeah, that's so you can beautiful. Quite hope. So the main reason is just to give hope. All the prisoners when on a wedding, mm -hmm. two ex-convicts are making a wedding, mm -hmm. they will have a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. So we sure, were sure, sure about that. So mm -hmm. we just said, let's do it. Tolin, mm -hmm. in a kawe ni mtu mwenye hasahau, because uh, you've been through the system. Buenako amesema, you sold the idea to him. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking you've been through the system, it hardened you, and mm. it also ikakupatia he change. Mm. So how come, sasa wewe, bado the idea inatoka kwako that you want to go and give hope? Uh, okay, tuwakati niliko prison, mm -hmm. nili lose hope sana. Uh -huh. Na I remember there is a friend of mine, her name was Wanjiro. Mm -hmm. She passed when I was in prison. She had TB. You were in prison together? Amo? Yes, yes, uh -huh. we were in prison together. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was sick. She was just sick to be. But when they went to do the postmortem for her, mm -hmm. they said also she had a lot of stress. Oh. So she was a, a really good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, what can I do? What can I do to give hope to those people? Because people in prison really lose hope. For instance, mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday, I went to Kitui prison. Mm -hmm. I went to Kitui prison to mm -hmm. give mindset. Mm -hmm. And um, I went with one of my friends, mm -hmm. who is also my fellow lecturer. Okay. And then w there was this woman who had katuto kadogo. Mm -hmm. And then she was telling the friend of mine, this child, nilimpata hapa na waden. So, ukiangalia huyu mtoto wata vile anakaa, mm -hmm. Babake ni waden, like the child ni kamata ni mgonjwa, like, are you well off? Mm. So many people go in prison and really lose hope. Sure. And uh, my aim is to give hope to everyone out there who came from prison and who is in prison. Mm -hmm. I don't want people who came from prison, watoke enje na waishi, bado na stigma. Mm -hmm. You know, people, I've had cases of what were talking about prison and they go out to commit suicide. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I thought, let me just do this one thing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do it for myself. Mm -hmm. No. I have this kind of mindset. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live for myself anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. all this, sure. now I want to live for others. Wow. Yes. You're a beautiful soul. Thank you. <laughs> wow, my dear viewer, I hope you can listen to this very touching story from Martin and Tolin. I've not had such a story in a long time. It's almost emotional when I'm trying to hold myself. Because for sure, there is total transformation from the small girl you are. <laughs> and I can imagine how, I can see how innocent you are. Mm from being told that he unaenda shule and here you are you're happy you king is a colon cruiser then you go back get very hardened mm. and you're like huh when god atunda kufundisha lesson mm. so i'm just looking at e transformation and you mekuja pole pole mm. and now you are a big force yes when you unataka kubadilishia watu maisha yao pia juu i can attest you're praising God with your own life. Because mm. for sure, Mungu amekubadilisha tolin. The small girl you're telling me about, and the woman seated here, they are totally different. Whatever God you pray mm. is real. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my God is real. Yes, yes. And I'm really thankful for this story because now, ata wazazi wanapo raise watoto wao, mm. they can be keen. Mm. Story kama ya Martin, 
wakati watoto wanafika teenagehood mm. they go through a lot of stresses mm. some nakumbuka hata wakati sisi tulisoma watoto wengine even the bodily changes iliwapea stress mingi sana yeah. voice in a break you cannot handle that so mtu ata result kwa drugs mwingine msichana ataishi hivi mpaka yeah and you can imagine being in prison yeah. hauna wazazi wako and now those body changes start to occur imagine. and you don't have anybody to tell imagine. you about that imagine this is so beautiful a story that i've not had in a long time and i'm so privileged kuisikia and i'm happy that even my viewer is agreeing with me mm. yeah so please give your parting shots because our time is up mm. though i would wish to listen to you people <laughs> You are a blessed couple Thank and you. continue doing what you're doing. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Give your parting shots. Okay, so I'm happy to have uh, this time. Mm-hmm. What I would say to my viewers is that, uh, especially as a parent, many things start from a very young age. And uh, many parents, they miss these things. But uh, we, we, the parents can develop a relationship with their children. And then they, they can really guide their children what many youths are lacking is mentorship and the first mentor is the parent so please uh, be close to your children so that you can easily guide them so that they can talk with you and you can guide them how to overcome the challenges that come out of life uh, so also uh, in the IYF we offer mentorship such as mind education to the youths so also search for IYF uh, guide your children to come to IYF so that they can receive this mentorship actually the most important thing that is needed right now in Kenya for the youths is just mentorship yeah, sure. so that's all i can say for me sure thank you very thank much tolin mm-hmm. give us your parting shot uh, um, rural parents please have a heart heart to heart connection with your children mm. don't push your children away mm-hmm. uh, you know many p- parents think beating their children and being harsh to them will make them obey them or rather will make them be good that actually pushes your child away you know i've talked about pcf and iyf when you look at the end of the abbreviation mm-hmm. f mm-hmm. means fellowship mm-hmm. fellowship with your child talk to your child know what your child likes what your child doesn't like also the child should know what the parents likes and what the parents should doesn't like mm-hmm. so this makes you come together and have the same heart mm-hmm. so this can really help you as parents and children mm-hmm. yes thank you very much for honoring our invite it's been a wonderful story to share mm-hmm. and whatever Okay, this mindset education has done to you. Mm. It's something that should be put out there because for sure I can see a total transformation. I can listen to you and I can tell that you are people who have totally changed. Mm. And now you are living a life maybe any hata ungefikiria. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, my dear viewer, you've had it for yourself and I'm also thanking you for staying with me and having listened to this story. Please Should you have any issues you've heard of IYF International Youth Fellowship? Yes. This is a place to find mindset education where we can transform our minds. We can also transform the minds of our children so that together together we can live a happy life, together we can live a fulfilled life and together we can forge forward mm-hmm. living the best of our lives here in the land of the living. Mm-hmm. So thank you very much for being with us. And thank you very much for you know coming and sharing your story. Thank It's you. an honor and thank you very much. So my dear viewer until next time. Bye bye.